I haven't done a church tour of any sort in quite a while, and we've had some improvements since the last ones that I've made. So I decided perhaps a little update was necessary to show some of those improvements that have been done, particularly to those of you who have not had an ability yet to come back to church or who are reluctant, which is perfectly understandable. So I'm standing in one of those spaces now, and I'm delighted to be able to show you some of the updates and improvements that we've done to this space, which is our church office. So let me give you a little tour here. So our church office was priorly blue, and in the interim between church administrators, we decided that it was a good time to shift around the organization of the church office. So now as you get to the top of the stairs, let me walk back here, the top of the stairs and turn the corner, here you are, top of the stairs, turn the corner, you will see our office admin, Julia Lotempio, right there behind her desk. We have recarpeted and repainted this area as well as obtaining uh, a desk, a new desk for Julie. Julie stands as she works, so you can see that there is a standing desk there where she has the two monitors that she uses as part of her workstation. It was that along this wall over here, there was a long cabinet. That cabinet was actually two different cabinet units, which is this that we see here with one long countertop across it. So what we did is we cut that countertop in half in order to be able to use these sets of cabinets in two different places. So in this outer larger office where at one time right here was a second desk, as well as this unit and the copier was beside it, we have really made this the church office area. And so basic office supplies and files are now contained within this cabinet and this and the file cabinet here with Julie's workstation right here. What that means is we really transformed this inner office, which is where uh, the office administrator used to have their workstation into our copy and workroom. So this table used to be also in the outer larger office, now moved in here. And there is the other cabinet with that countertop that we cut in half that used to be on the far wall in the outer office. And as we turn here is our copy. Or this allows us to actually shut the doors of this room if there's lots of copying being done so it doesn't then interrupt uh, work or makes it easier to talk on the phone as needed. With other essentials stored around, we're still getting sorted out as far as our office goes, but we're most of the way now through reorganizing the office. So as you come in, you'll find that it does look different as you greet Julie and the work space and station here in the church office. Now, interestingly, this was not always where the church office was. The church office has had different locations through the life of this community of faith. We also installed a door here. That's the last thing that needs to be painted, but we closed that off just to add a little bit more of the finish to this space. Anyway, the church office was not always in this space, and then as things advanced, the church office was moved into this space with this outer office really being a receptionist area and the inner office being where the office admin performed their tasks. We don't have two different people doing those, rendering those services anymore. We only have one person. And so it didn't make sense to have those two spaces organized in that way. Instead, we have this larger space being the workspace for our office admin that also gives them a direct view out into the hall to be able to greet people and the inner office being our workroom. So a little tour for you of the, the enhancements to our church office and the workspace for our new office administrator, Julie Lotempio, so that you all can enjoy and see some of the improvements that are here from wall color and carpet and office furniture to also just the reorganization that we have done throughout this space. I'm gonna be bringing you a couple more of Crafts Hall, which has had a major flooring improvement, um, and some others as, as I can, as 
we are able. So you can look forward to a few more of these video tours coming out in the near future.